Shalom. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes. Entertainment. Here's the, um, here's an inconvenient truth about our government, ladies and gentlemen. This is for entertainment. In 2006, the Department of Immigration and Customs conducted an internet sting operation and found that at least, ladies and gentlemen, 264 Pentagon employees purchased child porn online. Pentagon staff and contractors with high level security clearance have been found by U.S. federal investigators to have downloaded child porn. One of those charges was a contractor who has security clearance at the National Security Agency, which eavesdropped on communications worldwide. He fled the U.S. and is thought to be hiding in Libya. Some of the child porn was downloaded on government computers. The Globe obtained 50 pages of document relating to an investigation by the Inspector General of the Pentagon that had not been made public, ladies and gentlemen. One case involved a national security official who possessed 8,400 pictures and 200 films and was sentenced to five years in prison. Many others have also been sentenced and more people are still under investigation, ladies and gentlemen. Another individual alleged to have been uh, involved was working. Uh, this individual operates the military spy satellites. And this individual was not charged, but sent to a lower level job in a field office in New Mexico. Would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? This person wasn't charged, but was sent to work elsewhere. Meanwhile, we have people getting arrested for feeding the homeless. Homeland Security calling us, the people, terrorists of the United States, calling us the enemy, allowing the borders open, allowing anybody in. They're creating fake files and fake dossiers, putting innocent people on a terrorist blacklist, huh? paying and rewarding people to illegally stalk and illegally harass the people that they're putting on these lists. Our government is responsible for mass shootings and suicides because of this illegal program where your tax dollars is being funded into, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, huh? This individual got caught up on child pornography and they did not want to release this individual's name who worked and operated military spy satellites and instead he was sent to work somewhere else. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's right. 
Why did this happen? What does it say on the Targeted Justice website, ladies and gentlemen? Financial crimes and political persecution used to protect elite globalists are less than 1%. Oh, wait. That's right. We, we, we can't forget. Uh, police, law enforcement, have been instructed to not arrest or detain them. But meanwhile, they're throwing our names, the innocent people, on these terrorist blacklist, watch lists with fake files and dossiers, having people illegally stalk and harass individuals being gang stalked. Oh, and law enforcement participates on that, stalking, watching, and illegally harassing the innocent person on these files and fake files and dossiers that they're creating, ladies and gentlemen. But these people are getting caught up with child porn. And this individual right here, shh, we're not going to tell nobody. Put them at a different job. Are you listening? Are you tss, unplugging? Are you awake? Financial crimes and political persecution used to protect elite globalists are less than 1%. And the police have been instructed to not arrest or detain them. But they can harass you and arrest you. But for them, no, 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 no. They get away with murder. Huh? It makes you wonder. Again, this is for entertainment. Entertainment and educational purpose. But this is just this is just for entertainment. This is just for entertainment. It makes you wonder, huh? And makes you now wonder, was all Ryan Garcia's tweets lies or truth? Huh? And y'all know the stuff he was saying. And he ain't the only one that was saying a lot of things. A lot of people's been speaking up, speaking out. You, you I mean, you're now seeing Diddy's situation or that, but is, uh, is it making sense? Is it making you think, though? You'd be like, hmm. Are you thinking? Are you waking up? Is your subconscious mind, ladies and gentlemen, awake? Or are you still distracted with the nonsense in this world? Are you are you waking up? Huh? Are you waking up? Some of the cases came to light as a road, as a result of an investigation by the Immigration and Customs Agency whose operation Flickr in 2006 identified 5,000 people who had paid for access to overseas pornography websites. 5,000 people, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Seems to me that this is a club. This is a club. Among the 5,000 were a contractor at a weapons testing base in California and another at a naval air warfare center in the same state. A worker at a separate establishment also had pornographic images, but the ages of those involved could not be determined and so it cannot be established they were children. I don't know if anyone paid attention. But uh, Dr. Phil, ladies and gentlemen, he seems to have been, he seems to have woken up. And uh, he seems to have uh, taken the red pill. Uh, Dr. Phil delivered a brutal reality check on Fox News, ladies and gentlemen, saying this is what came out of his mouth. We are using American tax dollars to ship children into known prostitution and sweatshops. That came out of Dr. Phil's mouth, ladies and gentlemen. Makes you now wonder, where are all of your taxes going into, huh? Hmm? 
It also makes you not even want to file your taxes, ladies and gentlemen. What does Ephesians 6 verse 12 says? What does God tell us? This is not a wrestling match against a human opponent. We are wrestling with rulers, authorities, the powers who govern this world of darkness and spiritual forces that control evil in the heavenly places. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. For nothing is secret that will not be revealed, nor anything hidden that will not be known and come to light. Luke chapter 8 verse 17. People will get mad at you for speaking the truth rather than being mad at the people who have been lying to them. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is for entertainment purposes. Remember, and just keep this in mind, in your subconscious mind. Always keep this in your mind. Always. Not one single person who paid to our word children on Epstein's Island has been arrested. And I'm going to leave it at that. Oh, and didn't Ryan Garcia also tweet and say Epstein's Island is not the only island? Y'all know what's up already. When the truth has been spoken. Stay safe. Stay prayed up. Repent to the Most High. And This is for entertainment purposes. Until the next video.